What's up guys, it's me back here, and we're going back to some more Slay the Spire Library of Runa. So, last time we went in with the Silent, I have been out, I missed a day actually yesterday, uh, just too busy of a weekend, had some stuff family-wise come up that I had to um, get to, went out of town for the weekend, and by the time I got back, um, with after changing plans, the Friday before I was leaving, I did not have uh, a chance to get an upload in. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. I didn't see anyone say otherwise, but we will continue here. I'm gonna go in with the white again, even though we've still not beat those um, fixers yet. The best we've done is with the defect, so hopefully, optimistically, we can do something fun here. But I'm just going in for a relaxed run. I am pretty exhausted, but I did not want to deprive you guys of another day when you guys are super so excited to watch. So let's see what we could do. I think the mistake I made here, which is fine, I should have probably dual cast first. I may have been able to get the kill on the louse. They have two HP, which in the long run probably won't matter, but in the short run for optimization it does. Um, dum 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 dum. Let's take a different card and let's check what it does. Hello. Uh, whenever you exhaust a card, draw a card. Heroic Monk. Okay. If this card is in your hand at the end of your turn, deal damage based on two times the number of exhausted cards in this combat to yourself. Card is exhausted, deal 25 damage to yourself. I've exhausted cards in. And at the end of the turn, so you really want to discard this. I actually cannot take as much advantage, but this card would be good with the silent. Um, hmm. I don't know how we can take advantage of it. Dual polarity is always a fun little one here. One cost for uh, like a very useful card here. Let's take a copy. I have no exact plans for like the build we're going to run or how we're going to go about this we would need some kind of pretty strong build to continue with what we are doing we need damage here so let's lightning and dark here there we go and nothing so it still dealt the damage to us but it dealt to zero damage which is interesting um can we get a kill yes we'll cast for the wind okay can't take we will take a fragment of the universe Pretty good. Uh, power deck is pretty explosive, but it's also pretty slow. Let's take a core surge in the hopes of finding some focus. Uh, okay. Two upgrades. Still cast is fine. I don't have like a strong preference. Make all. Ooh. This is tempting. Actually, it's not as tempting with Heroic Monk in our hand. Um, let's save the money. Apparitions are very good, but I don't think they are going to save us too much. Get one of these off the field. Let the let the um, lightning do its job here. We're sure pretty good. Let's pro uh, clarity here. Uh, crystal and frost is pretty good. Adds more damage and some block here. Okay, and there is the free dual cast. All right, not too bad. Um, crumbling armor. What were you? All right, exhaust can force change, and I copy it to your draw pile. Uh, you will take damage whenever you play a skill card. Uh, this would be good with a claw build, not for what we're doing. Guy today is not that great. Um, oh, we've now unlocked it. Every three cards you exhaust gain bleeding, and then if you have in your hand, exhaust this card when you draw it. I don't know which one F. Um, oh, I did not mean to take that. Whoops. Uh, start combat draw and discard card whenever you're below. Every three cards you exhaust gain three bleeding. So, and I don't know what F0258 is. But I'm not planning to exhaust a lot of cards. So this should be fine. I didn't mean to take it, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. 
Which is turn in your turn if you have more than half your ores. I don't want crystal. Pretty good. I don't think I've ever really efficiently used crystallizer. Let's try it. So crystallizer here. Let's do this. This is not actually playable, is it? No. It just kind of exists as a card. Also, where did we gain one extra? Oh, we gain. Well, I'm not sure where we gain the extra artifacting from. Unless I missed something, is when we hit them. All right. Um, we have one card exhausted here. Let's see. Defend dual polarity. Go for a crystal and frost here. And then we're also going to do this, hoping for the lucky hit the front citry. But last we did not here. Okay, six block. Let's polarity again. Um, see, we're gonna lose. Let's do another frost and crystal. There you go. Plenty of block. Universe here. Okay. If we can take out the front century, we'll be in a very good spot. We cannot hear. Um, let's see. Strike. Guess we'll go for the dual cast and defend out. Try to make some room in our orbs. Okay, we are gonna take a wall up here from Heroic Monk. A sizable amount of damage. Actually, there's only four. It was actually not as bad as I thought it'd be. Also, we just got debuffed twice. But I don't know from where. Zap here. Um, dual polarity, let's do another stone and ice. Keep those coming in terms of block. Uh, we're gonna take a beating. Yep, there's Heroic Monk. And there's the bleed. Okay, we really need to kind of end this here, but I don't have a good way to do that. So let's block. Um, I can't even use the, the weakness potion. Unless I use both of the potions. No. Yep. Uh, oh, the bleed's so high. Okay. We really need like a good roll. And there's Heroic Monk. We kind of have to win this round, almost. Alright. Oh, and we did. So, I guess that counts. Take another card. At this point, we should just take them to unlock them. Mm-hmm. Let's lock common card in your now. Yeah. Crystal Condo. Actually. Actually. Give me that. Rest here. I don't really want to do it because our deck is pretty unstable. I really wanted the smith, but I don't think we'll survive if we take it. Play the Spire. Raider's Mask. And if a Dark Orb has more stored damage, at the lowest, it is evoked. That's very cool. I don't think I've ever seen that. Huh. Next prefetch is interesting. Defrag would be good. Really, Pantograph would have been super good. Um, I mean, I could take Defrag and Sweeping Beams. Actually, I'm pretty, pretty co uh, cool to do that. Pretty nice. War Paint's pretty good here. Clarity actually is a very good hit. Makes it much more playable. We exhaust something for some reason. That's probably this card in our hand that I don't know what it does. Let's see. Whenever you play a power card, heal 4 HP and draw one card. Okay. Round exhaust a power card and gain six block. Interesting. Actually, pretty cool. I kind of like that. What it, it exhausted defrag though, which I really wanted. Um. Okay, sweeping beam. And then we want the damage off. So you're dead. You're dead. I think that's fine. And then yeah, crystallizer actually crystallized here. Um, sweeping. Start with that. You're mad, but I don't really care, I don't think. Yeah, you're just dead. Hmm. What do you do? All cards in your hand cost one energy less. Child of the Galaxy. Does not play this turn. Increases cost by one at the end of the turn. Maximum five, okay. Is higher than four at the end of the turn. Exhaust all cards that have their costs reduced. That's hard to justify. Like you have to pretty much play it every time and it's three cost. So everything would need to be one cost to make it worth while. 
No, I don't think this is one, actually. What do you read again? Return. If you play another, remove the effect and deal 20 damage to yourself. So the only one I'm playing is Fragment, which I could take or leave. Actually, I'll take a Fairy Festival here. All right, Chaos. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about Fairy Festival is I wish I had a, like, showed when it was active. I have a bad memory. Crystallizer, Defrag. There's Searching Scarecrow whenever we play a power. Okay, nine coming in. I don't really like that. Do this. Let's also go with the Weakness Potion. First thing, let's not, not do anything too crazy. Seems like a pretty simple answer here. All right, red just activates on its own. So we're going to go ahead with that. Ooh, zap here. You like seeing that. I'm also trying to think of crystallizers would stack. Ooh, good one. Fairy festival. I like that. So we don't want to play fragment anymore. Um, do I go dual polarity or do I go chaos? Let's chaos first. Another lightning. Not as good. Let's go ahead and go through. Channel this and then channel this. I actually forgot we would get an additional orb slot here. So, I'm pretty okay with that. So, we can't play this. Crystal Conduit here. Pretty nice. Plenty of block, which I do enjoy. Red Riding Hood's fine, but I don't necessarily need. I'm actually just going to enjoy the healing, I think. Clarity here. Let's do a... Water and Hellfire. Um, actually, Meat Lantern would be fine. What do you do? Uh, Queen B. It does heal damage to all enemies. Draw one card. Okay. Playing this card randomly infect two cards. Infected cards exhaust at the end of the turn. And a worker B to your draw pile. Alright. I can't unlock any more. Oh, let's try it. I, I want to know what it does. So. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I, I, I have to, to try the storm build. It is a bit slower, but... <laughs> I always see this note, and I'm always like, why did I store this? Uh, chaos to randoms, very good. The randomness can really mess you up, though. Well, mess us up, but... Alright, White Dawn, let's see how this fight goes. I think we'll be okay here. Black Fixer's not too bad, overall. Okay, 16 coming in, though. They're not messing around. Stone and Ice, let's go. Sleeping Beam. I want to Core Surge already and get that going. All right. Immune to, to damage on our turn. Actually, actually, we can we can actually do this very much because we don't have to worry about taking damage from all our card effects. And damage, Storm here. Sleeping Beam. This is actually like a... Potato is like a get out of jail free card for the mod. Because I can do this, and I don't have to care what I play, honestly. Because it should all just figure itself out. And worker be exhausted, I don't know what it did. Because we shouldn't be able to take any damage. But a lot of the super broken cards we should just be able to play over and over again for like healing and stuff. Hypothetically. Okay, that splits into that. That's 10 blocks. There we go. Now we should just be able to start poking them. Something tried to hurt us, but I'm not sure what it was. Alright, worker B. Take whatever negative it's giving. Crystallizer, that wasn't as good, actually. That's fine. Eight coming in. I'm gonna turn this. I don't like this song as much as some of the other jazz songs I've heard. Chaos, fairy festival. Healing, block, block. Alright, we have a hellfire up here with the strength. Uh, at the start of your turn, yep. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. A little bit of a dubstep vibe here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down. Now, so if I do this, I shouldn't take any damage. Blocked by potato. Yep. Little bit broken, but alas, that is the name of the game sometimes. The bleed, though, will affect us at the end of the turn, so I'm actually probably gonna remove that. 
So we'll do this. Dual polarity. Give me some light and dark. Give me some of that. Cool. Technically, we can, fill, we can fill up the deck with fairies if we wanted to. The conduit. Okay. Strike. I don't know what you do, but... I don't know why they lit up, but... I took the bait, apparently. Ow. So many pokes. Oh. Clicked off. That's fine. Fairy festival. Then we're gonna go sweeping. Sweeping. There I go. And the White Dawn request is done. Backwards cock, express train. Let's see. You do not lose HP for six turn, lose 10 max HP. No. At the end of your turn. At the end of your turn, do 50 damage to all creatures and extinguish all lights. According to lit lights, extinguish all lights. Hmm. I've been wanting to try this one again. Both lights are lit. Deal 50 damage to all creatures and extinguish all lights. Let's try this again. Uh, no, nah, I don't need another one right now. Sleep is just good. Wait, return. I was noted that I was skipping money. So let's not skip more. Okay. See what we got going here. Fragment. Oh, this is not a good starting hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want to dual cast yet. Want to keep my lightning warbs. The fairy festival, that's just health. Um, storm's fine here. Go ahead and defend. What we got? Ow. Not too bad, though. Defrag. Crystal, chaos, should get us into into the into the lead there. All right, I can turn the volume up now that I'm not full on dub stepping. Um, let's do this. Got some more slots, courser, zap. There's probably a better way to game that kind of system there. All right, let that continue going here. We have a dark orb, which is going to be very good to um. Deal a good amount of damage. I'm just gonna kind of power through some of these hits. Oh! I have to remember the train. Because I somehow we did not take any damage. Turn your hand with an exhaust around car in your hand. Like that. Okay. Festival. Sweeping. Sweeping. Right. I think I can right click this. All right, now let's see. I upgrade a random card and the light goes down. So technically we can just use this to continuously upgrade our deck. Do this, and then we'll do strike. There we go. So upgrade a card, uh, choose this one. But yeah, we pretty much can just upgrade one card a turn in our hand, which is super useful. Mm-hmm. I think we're well No, I think we're good here. RNG I mean I have to we have an ore build here. I have to take it. Uh we'll just do terracotta horse. Energy, but at the cost of nonsense. Oh, and there's Pigeon Bird. I don't like I don't like him. But we don't have a lot of blockade anyway, so I guess it's fine. Good question mark path here. Up to here. I can do two elites. I can do three elites. Well, there's just not a lot of rest, but... Ain't no rest for the wicked, I suppose. Alright, go for storm. Go for fairy. Go for chaos. Sweeping. RNG! We got a, um... Actual plasma orb here. Pretty nice. Don't always get those, so pretty good to see them. All right, uh, crystallizer here is good. Core surge, conduit, which I want to upgrade next. Defend, strike, leap. Plenty of stuff. I actually don't think I needed the leap. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so we will do B sweeping d defend. I don't know why these glow, but I probably need to unlock the rest of the B card to understand it. Uh, and go cast is fine here. I don't think it does anything. I know there's like a if I think it's if half the warp slops are not full when it's evoked it does something, but I cannot remember. We'll do another fairy festival just for the healing. And we can knock down some of that plated armor here. Yeah, and the train cannot hurt me. Because I guess it's considered during my turn. Nice. Uh loop is very good. We're building like a hybrid orb and power kind of deck. Okay. Uh, I do not want bites. Not good for what we're doing. Archipon, whenever you reach 70 more total unblock, damage done in the combat will tend to move now. Toolbox, honestly, all of these are kind of lackluster here. None of them very much impress me. I think we'll just go card removal. Yeah, this could have been static discharge is for a different build. Um, and honestly, out of all the cards that are, I think I'm actually going to take out Little Red Riding Hood. Um, it doesn't help me. I can't, it's eating up my draw. Um, and it puts bleed, which potato doesn't block. So upgrade a card. RNG gets X plus one. That sounds very good. Ooh, another shop. Good. Wait. Uh, I don't know. Um, Lee's Waffles is very good, but we're full on HP. I could be tempted just to... We're going to skip the next shot to remove another card here. And I think I'm pretty happy with the rest of the cards. Actually, what do you do? I didn't know I hadn't looked at you. I've added you, but not checked you out. Oh, this is B1. Infected cards can be disinfected by playing them. If a card exhausts under the effect, add a worker to your draw pile. Okay. So we just need to play the yellow boarded cards or it's going to exhaust our cards. That's fine. I don't have like a super problem with that. Um, let's just remove a basic strike here. Also, you might be able to hear because I'm next to the door. It's pouring the rain. Smith. Uh, loop is very good, Smith. Pretty happy with that. Up to here. Birds or burbs. Healing, loop, uh, storm, defend, dual polarity, stone and ice. Sure, you can't deal no damage to me. And that double loop is going to make their day much worse. That queen bee is to all enemies, which is nice. Or surge, and then strike on you and you're down. Okay. One AoE card would be good. Or RNG would be very nice here. Get it. Defrag. Dual cast. Strike. Crystal. Take a little bit here, but... Fine. Definitely make it up. So... Worker B. Fairy Festival. Uh, just dual sweeping, I guess. Then a strike. And then you're dead. Protection cannot protect you. No, I'm good. Another crystallizer? I don't know if it stacks. But it is a free thing to be exhausted. And it works with Storm. We just really could use some, like, draw. Would be all we, I'd kind of like to see. Uh, defrag. I'm kind of super okay just RNGing here. RNG! Bad pulls. Overall. Ugh, and that's how I'm going to fire pot here. I did not like those. They did not impress me. I was really hoping for some frost. If we're being honest here on their storm. Needs to be upgraded. That's fine. You're down 30 damage coming in, my friend. I know you don't really like me that much, but that's a wallop. A bunch of strength here, though. Crystallizer does stack, and that's one of the things I was curious about. Um, I guess we chaos here. 
And we'll go ahead and sweeping strike. Okay, that's fine. There's a bunch of damage and healing that just went on at the same time there. I'm not quite sure what happened, but let's stone and ice. Queen bee here kills a bunch of stuff. And you're dead. Nice. We're really just missing some kind of like super good combo. Okay. Um, three, uh, let's see what this one does. Uncontrollable. Draw three cards. If you have more than six cards in your hand after drawing cards, apply one vul vulnerability. If this card is in your hand at the end of the turn, exhaust all cards in your hand. No, because I don't have a way to get rid of it. Good try, though. Durian's pretty good. Take that. I think I would rather have um, the other frost generating card that draws cards. Can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Tori, pretty good. A little bit of a protection card here. We have the Ghostly Snacko. Crystal, uh, we hit Zap. That's it for this turn. Actually, a very boring one. All things considered. Defrag, ooh. Dual Polarity, Stone, do that. And then we're just gonna RNG here for that. I think we're pretty good. Two Dark Orbs in the back is kind of Kind of inviting here. Okay, of course, Surge. Sweeping. Fairy Festival. Chaos. Bring those to the front. And Queen Bee for fun. Yeah. We just need a very good, like, opening turn now. And a second Crystallizer is pretty spicy. Oh, 31 here, though. It's kind of annoying. Let's go ahead and do the strike. Do the strike. Let's go ahead and universe here. Then we will... Hmm. Let's drink this Meteor Strike. Actually helps a lot here. Because that gives us a lot of block. Okay. Bunch of worker bees. Alright, no damage taken. And plenty of stuff to go for here. Crystal. Worker. Worker. Fairy. Dual cast for energy. Nine energy and nothing to use it on. And I guess we used it on letting the train hit him. If we could have hit him once, the train would have got him. Okay, uh, sweeping. Clarity. Uh, we need to channel this one. And you're dead. Doesn't matter. Uh, da -da -dum -dum -dum. We'll wait here. I'm happy, content with where we're at. And this is one strength for every two orb slots. We could use an orb slot card. Pretty content. Uh, notch. Enemies are 25% are or less health are weak. Oh, so enemies with low health are weak. Okay, another snake. Oh, another white noon. Another white noon fight. Weapon. Red is pretty not fun, but this is an ideal. Opening hand. <laughs> yeah. AoE here. Um, let's just RNG for a bunch of stuff. Do that. And then... Not really the roll. Hoping on RNG. If I'm being honest. Okay, let's see. We got a pretty good amount of setup going. I'll eat some of the damage here. That's fine. Okay. Clarity. Um, I don't want to make them... Actually, let's do that. Make them vulnerable. Sweeping here. It's pretty good. And then we'll just... Yeah. Fragment here. More worker bees, which are fine. One more damage. Alright. Durian helps out. Okay. Fairy. Oh, if I could just uh, evoke our next two, actually, that's perfect. That did not work the way I wanted it. Not sure exactly what happened, but... And then with a fire on top of it, that's not as great. Taking a wall up here, but we gained some health, so... Okay. I gotta remember she's, yeah, she's praying now. We have 11 attack. That's pretty good. But she's gonna deal damage back to me though, so I need to focus on this man. RNG. Ow, ow. Okay. 
with potato. Prayers don't hurt me. Okay. Still damage coming in though. Not quite to the level you need to be, I don't think. The block. Polarity. Let's go for this. Okay, sweeping. Good. Zap. Fine. Crystal. Universe. Strike. Okay. And then train should be coming through now. Yep. Which we are totally fine with. He's down. And I think she's just dead next turn. I guess the downside to train is if you don't have any cards to upgrade, you just lose. Well, it's just going to continuously deal you damage, but. Not see. Oh, we have two we haven't seen here. Uh, behavior adjustment. Uh, I, whenever you draw a curse or status, discard it and draw one card, then lose one HP. Totally fine. Actually, very acceptable. So whenever you play an attack, lose one HP and gain one strength. What was the next part of it? And then your turn, a random attack gains exhaust. Uh, before an attack card that gains uh, deal damage yourself at the end of each turn. Before an attack card that gains exhaust. Okay, so this one's just at the. We want to play it, and actually, I think this is totally fine. I think it's actually very good. Maybe. Currently channeled. Ukulele. I think I don't need. Okay. Move a card. That's fine. Get the strike out of here. Another elite fight here. The frag. Draw the card too. Um. This is RNG here for the nonsense. Still not good. Honestly, Hellfire has not been great for us. And yeah, they're gonna about to punch us. Not in a good way. Storm. Crystallizer. Crystallizer. Fairy Festival. Play all the zero cards first. That. Dual polarity for stone and ice. Okay, then we're gonna dual cast. Then. Zap to the back. Sweeping beam. I think that does very well. We're still gonna take 15, but fine. Okay, red shoes, strike. Yeah, it can't do damage to us, so we've uh, beaten that out. And then, yeah. So we can need a couple more attacks that rely on strength. Sensor, do not need that. Um, I don't need it, actually. Ink bottles, not bad. Glacier's actually pretty good. Gonna fall backfired. No. Take a copy. And then we're gonna smith here. And I will storm in my opening hand. The innateness is very good. Because we have plenty of powers. Alright, storm. Crystallizer. There's a rogue monk. Let's dual polarity for. And let's RNG. And let's core. Let's zap. Red shoes. That's it. And off the bat. Ow. Okay. Loop. Chaos. Sweeping. I really could have used the defend. But can I really defend faster than he's going to hit me? Because he has piercing, right? Yeah. I feel like I just continue with the pain for him. Okay. Defrag. Healing. Very good. Glacier. Defend and call it. So we're going to take some damage here. There we go. I mean, RNG and then dual cast can be very good. Let's do it. It's going to give us plenty of block here. Oh, dual casting the Hellfire is not great. But we'll have a ton of strength next turn, so. We'll take it. It'll be what, 17 strength? 23 33 strength. Red shoes. Sweeping beam. I have nothing else I can really do here. I should have done that first. That's fine though. He should be doing a big turn. Attack this turn. Oh, that's the, the train. Load cannon. 50 
damage. Not great. Okay, chaos here. 28 damage though is still a lot. We defend and then we queen B for 23. Very festival. But we had 33. Actually, I think we're fine. We'll probably take some, but not too much. Chaos. I really don't understand how our deck quite works, but they're dead and we continue. All right. Um, I don't really want any of these. Echo form. Actually, Omega Cannon actually relies on our strength, which could be very good. One fear card would suck a lot, but I think that's what we're taking. I want more energy, so we just need to find some draw cards to add to the deck. Okay, Elite. Two. Nothing. Late line shops to like. Oh, here we go. There's some late, late line shop. Two elites. Opening path. Three elites. No, let's take that. If we even get there. Who knows? Storm, yeah, this is a miserable opening. Uh, Omega Cannon is 8, 16, 24, 32. That almost does it. And yeah, thorns aren't even hurting us. Pretty nice. Okay. Take a little bit here, but fine. And they're dead. I'm pretty happy with that. I did not mean to take that. Whoops. What do you do? Draw a card. Silent Orchestra. I do like the card art on this. You need to remove all debuffs and exhaust all status and curse cards. Okay. Shuffle a first movement into your draw pile at the start of your turn. Uh, start about. Whenever you draw a movement, exhaust it and shuffle the next movement into your discard pile. Okay. When all movements are exhausted, remove all debuffs and heal all HP for all enemies. Then shuffle the first movement. I'm actually fine with that. Not bad. Oh, and there's cool hidden. That's one of the things we really needed. A couple copies of that and we'll be working like kings here. Defrag. Okay. Then strike, uh, fairy festival, leap, good. Also, this is, uh, the ink bottle's gonna be very good for us for playing cards. Chew, crystallizer, sweeping, queen bee, there's orchestra, okay. Zap, uh, I don't think I need a universe. Do that. Actually, I do need a universe. Now I'm gonna take more damage. And there went our cool headed that we needed. Uh, okay. Oh, movement one. Oh, and the, the curtains stay. That's interesting. And they're not surviving any longer, but we try. <laughs> oh, the curtains gotta do this every time. Okay, uh, each time an ex exhaust card. Each time you exhaust a card, gain one strength and heal one HP. Every three cards you exhaust, increase the cost of this card by one. Because this card is higher than reduced the cost by one more player. Uh, da, 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 da. Deal damage to yourself. That's fine. Actually, totally fine. Toxic potion is better, better than languid, I think. Ooh, I'm taking the loop. I did think about taking the claw, but I think it's too late. Um, that's fine. Or calcum, very good. Additional block is good for free. All right. Let's do this correctly. I'm gonna start with Toxin. Storm, good. Silent Orchestra is gonna suck. I can already feel it. Smiling Mountain, loop, throw another card preferably. Crystallizer, good. Chaos, totally fine. Defend, okay. Intense fighting music. They just deal so much damage. It's like an insane amount. But if we can get one of them down, really, we needed like electrodynamics would have been so good. Um, sweeping beam here. Oh, a mega cannon. Good. Very good, actually. Uh, I don't think I can play it, though. I think I really need the glacier here. All right, let the curtains come down and do that. Yeah, we definitely glacier here. 
which sucks because I cannot see in my cards. Also, it killed the vibe of the music. I should have RNG'd for one, too. I didn't think about that one. That's fine, though. Yeah, it killed all the music. Which sucks because it was such like an intense fight music. I also can't see all my relics. But, thinking about it, you know what does come eventually? The train. Shoe. Cool headed. Very good. Core surge is fine. Let's do this. Let's universe here. Let's core. You have the least. Give me some strength. Queen. There we go. Um, this is a bunch of block. Okay. We actually got a, a sizable amount of block. And there's all the necrotic poison. I really think we can just survive a little bit longer. Uh, with the help of train. We'll be in a good move. Oh, there's the act gone. Oh, I, I, oh, thank you. I was hoping the curtains closed correctly. Alright. Music didn't come back though, which is kind of sad, but... I'm okay with that. Let's get some more damage back on board. Do this. Uh, keep hitting you. Brain should be on four this round. And we're managing just fine. If we can get him down to 50, be very good. That'd be one out of here. I mean, it's taken 50 life so far. Someone died. <laughs> I don't know how he died because I thought he had the most HP. But I'll take it. If we're being honest, so. Another sweeping here is very good. Smiling Mountain, play it. Um, dual cast for damage, I think. Oh, and we had enough, actually. Crane comes through. 50 to all. He's down now. We've got this. You know what? I hated Train for the longest time. But, MVP here. Because we can take out 50 on you, 80. Omega Cannon's enough is 40 to most of you. Actually, Queen Bee here. A Mega Cannon, might as well. The Thin Crystallizer. I mean, we're going to take a little bit more, but... 6 on one, 28 on the other. It, it's taken some doing. But, these fixers are done. Unless something hits me that I can't expect. Oh, she's praying, so I actually might not... There might be one more turn. 11 block. I mean, 11 here. Where's all this energy coming from? There's Red Chew. I mean, we'll zap. We'll defend. We'll do this, do this. I mean, they're not going to hurt us, but I can't deal damage back. Which is slightly unfortunate. Okay. I think my least favorite of all these fixers is White Fixer. Only because her... Animations take the longest. Boom. Mixer's down. Uh, let's take this one. Art of Aspiration. Raise your max to 10 whenever an enemy dies. Draw one card at the end of... If you end combat with all enemies. If you end a combat... Live. What's that mean? How would you end combat with all enemies alive? I don't know what that means. We'll see. Um, blue star. Builds attacks of six fixed stands. To okay. If you have no energy at the end of your turn, exhaust two random cards. If you have no cards in your hand, then deal 12 damage to ourself. Uh, I don't think I need that. I'm pretty happy with our synergy currently. I don't think we need any of those. You up. I'm going to continue to the left here. Hello, friend. Storm. Choose. Burge. Defrag. Uh, leap. Damage. Block. Still looking for more cool-headed. I think that's the one thing I really want. Okay. Oh, there's our, our curtain closer. Movement one. It does end the in the uh, music every time. Okay, do this. I guess we just RNG now for three. Might as well. Actually, I should have probably played that defend. Looking at it. Ouch. Pain. 
Um, mountain smile. Full head it needs to be done. I was really hoping to get some more of our healing, if I'm being honest. Loop here should give us a draw. Yep, sweeping beam as well. And there's Fairy Festival and Crystallizer. Which are both very good. 22, yep. Full block. I'll get a little bit of healing. Actually, I don't feel like it's healing me that much, but that's fine. Get the curtains up and out of here. Uh... Is it very turn if you have debuffs at the end of your turn? When whenever this card is played. If you have any debuffs at the end of your turn, heal tune. Nah, uh, I don't think I need that. I don't normally have debuffs. Reinforced body is a consideration, but I think we're good. Ooh, giant head. Hello, my friend. Storm loop. Leap. Okay. All the powers, turn one. I know there's something that like puts the powers in the top like 50% of your deck, but that was a little intense. Oh, there we go. Silent Sonata. Really uh, putting the theater class I never took to use. Okay. Then we're going to Glacier here. Queen B. Surge. And there we go. I think an upgrade on Crystal Conduit might be my next pick. Or just Zap. I mean, both are kind of necessary, and we haven't done them yet. Okay. Played that a little off, but I still got a little bit more on the slow. I changed the order. Red Shoe, Plarity here. I mean, give me a Water and Fire here. So I can have a little bit of draw next turn. Sets me up a little bit better. There's the RNG. Fairy Festival. Polarity. Let's do Stone and Ice. We're going to need some block here. Um, I can evoke this. Worker Bee. Just play that to play it. Glacier is very good here. Okay. 40 damage I have. Actually, I'm just going to RNG these out for the block mostly. And then we'll dual cast this one also for the block. And he's vulnerable for eight turns. Oh, there's train. Okay. Ow. 28 strength. 35 for four, or 52, so that's 200. Not enough. Red shoes. Sweeping. Uh, universe. Chaos. 30. Okay, and I mean. 58, so that's 232. That's, that'll, that's enough. Ow. You hit me. For zero. Yeah. Oh, these are all new. Uh, we have 800, so we might as well tr look at this. Kill one HP whenever you exhaust a card. Okay. After exhausting 11 cards, dot, dot, dot. I mean, I have to take it to see what happens. We might just die. But, if we do, I will be salty, but it's it's worth seeing what it does. Uh, Omega does five times, so another upgrade here. I should have done, I was thinking Crystal Conduit, but it's fine. Oh, there's the uh, Rhapsodic Quarter. Reminds me a lot of Darkest Dungeon. I just play that for no reason. Sweeping. Okay. Strike, Crystal, and then put the fence. Overflow, 35 cards. Lovely. Interesting enough, they're all like um, shop cards. I don't know if they usually pertain to the class at hand or not. Smiling Mountain, Crystallizer. And then I guess we Time Bomb, go for the eyes. Fairy, this sucks in terms of block. Oh, we got a little bit at the end. Ouch, we're gonna take a poke. Ooh, blind is very good. Like to see it. Chaos, defrag. Uh, equal to our exhaust cards. Apparently it's five. And Nurgidden. Then RNG. Good way to use our energy. Oh, we get more energy back from it too. That we can't use, but still a thought that counts. I really think Potato has what's pulled us through, so. I'm pretty happy with it. 
Okay, there's Omega for 55. Not quite enough. If I had shoes... Oh, there they are. But I can't get away with it now. Actually, nine... Pretty good bit. And then we'll just leave. That's fine. Didn't get the big Omega Cannon, but it's all good. Loop. Um... Let's do the zap. Dual cast, worker, defrag. Oh, movement two. Going to the second one. I don't know how many movements there are in total. Very festival, go for the eyes. Guess that's it. All the cards, they all seem to do that. Oh, and train. I can't see it, so I can't account for it. And then this is 16 damage. And then Omega for death. Great pickup. Let the curtains close. Uh, yells one word. Percent of damage you deal is converted to lifesteal. The start kind of randomly a removal card from combat's card takes up the appearance of the removed card. Shuffle. If you play this card, deal 30 damage to yourself. Okay, the same about Huh. I don't think I, I need it. It would work with our potato build, but I don't think we need it. Every seventh card drops a relic. Every seventh normal enemy drops a relic. A little late, but good nonetheless. Ball bearings. Whenever you shuffle your drop a flash of steel or finesse. That's fine. Could be good. Um, red mask. Do we have another shop? Yes, we do. Unfortunate. Wish there was another way we could get it, but hey, giant head again. Uh, storm. Choose Queen B. Okay, and then no more attacks, unfortunately. We should have just RNG for all that. And then we pulled the worst luck with triple crystal. Defrag. Sweeping. Full headed. Do this. Uh, might as well play that. Deal zero back to us. I might as well Glacier and get those out of here. I'm thinking a card that upgrades our orb slot would also be very welcome. Why are we confused? I don't really like that. It has to be one of the, like a new card I picked up. Yeah, uh, where's, yeah, I'm confused. Don't know what did that. Oh, mid combat. Uh, you are in combat, however, and enemy disappears in the blink of an eye. Uh, that confuses you. Only a fetal-looking creature, two red eyes, and five pairs of white feather rings remain. A halo of thorns floats above his head, and he wears a golden collar with the number 666 engraved into it. You guess that any disappearance is related to his presence. A voice floats in your mind. I see the creature in front of you. I knock on the door, and it opened. I am from the inn. I am merely staying. I am the one who, who kindled the lantern to face the world. My loved ones, I shall show the best path from now on. I mean, do we pray or do we blast me? I feel like we go blast me and fight it. 999 health. Perfect. I feel like it's going to one shot us. So let's go ahead. Take a little bit of precaution here and let's. Let's get get going here. So this is White Knight. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it it put a bunch of nonsense in our deck. Crystallizer, crystallizer, defrag, chaos, mountains, festival, sweeping. Okay, and defend. It's doing something. I'm just unknown. All right, forty damage strike. Is in your head. Exhaust all non-sacred attacks you play. All non-sacred skills. Ah, oh, okay, so... When I play this, it's gonna ex exhaust power, okay. Conduit. So that should exhaust now. Um, leap. No, it didn't. All non-sacred attacks. So I should have played this first. Weird. I can't tell what they're doing, but that's all we can do anyway. It'll take 30. Well, a little less. 27. Ow. 
Red shoe, polarity, this is a bad hand. I should, oh, I, these are all I'm drawing. How many of these are in my deck? I guess I just got bad luck and drew them all at the very end. Silence the Nada, last card. Okay. What sucks is with the curtain, I can't see what he's doing, so. Some stuff is exhausting, some stuff's doing other things. We do have 25 strength for some odd reason, but if we get to take advantage of it, I don't know. Fairy Festival, Worker B, Chaos, RNG. Get that damage going. We might as well. And I'm going to go ahead and drink the sharpness potion. Oh, there's train. There we go. 50. And then he did some amount of damage to me that I couldn't see. Flash for 34. Omega. Um, I mean, it's 100 and... Oh, it's 200 and something. I feel like it's worth doing for just two. I mean... Downsides, I cannot tell you what they are. I also don't know exactly what those do. Not enough energy. Now, assuming we're not dead here, which I couldn't tell you if I am or ain't. Because I can't see the attack. All right, we're still alive. Ooh, Smiley Mountain sucks here. I cannot. What happens when this gets to the two? It's dealing damage to us, but I can't tell how much. Cool headed here is great, actually. Sweeping would be good, but let's dual cast first. And then sweeping for that card draw. Defend and universe. Hopefully we're not dead. <laughs> All right, we survived another one. I think he's dead with our 38, um, 38 strength here. I'm pretty, I'd be conf like slightly confident about it. And well, RNG for a bajillion, but. Oh, that strike does 45 damage, but I can't play it. 27. Now, the only thing that would kill us is if we go into, like, the second act. But we blasphemed, and we we got him. Paradise Lost. The immune threshold to White Knight is increased by 5. Gain 6 o'clock whenever you play White Knight. I don't know what that means. Huh. Don't know. This is skip. I'm pretty confident with after that fight. Another dual, dual polarity would be good, but also cool headed is much better. Oh, look at our, our shiny orb nonsensicals. Proceed. Oh, and it's all flamey now. That's cool. Oh, because it was a crystal elite that we weren't able to actually fight. Actually, we we're going to go. Right. Also, is our deck still full of these nonsenses? Oh yeah, all the guards and stuff in our deck still. Am I fighting this dude again? We're gonna do this. I'm just gonna play... This is 35 here. Most of them are dead. A bunch of healing from some for some reason that I can't actually explain. Oh, I grabbed Porculus. That's gotta be removed. Whoops. Um, I don't need any of these. Um, let's actually go to the shop and remove this stupid thing. Uh, Ninja Q is actually very good, too. Take that. Remove the dumb card I picked up by accident. Porky bus. I uh, take a clockwork souvenir is good. Might as well take pin nib at this point. None of these I, I really need. Alright. Hello, Darklings. I, I, I still don't know what those do. Have you not chosen the 12? Yet you are the devil. I can't play that one, so. I don't know. RNG here. And that was it. RNG has not impressed me. Like, it felt like such a good card at the time, but I feel like Chaos just might be better most of the time. 35. Um, let's actually go for that Hellfire going. That's two more, so this is. Oh no, that, now it's 35. Rise my servant. Do I have a card? I don't know. Yeah, apparently. Uh, each time you exhaust a non staker card, heal 3 HP. Must be activated by bucket. Gain immunity to damage taken that is less than 6. You no longer heal apart from this card effect. Each time you deal unblocked damage, heal 1. 
This card is in your hand at the end of the turn, lose 4 HP and shuffle all exhausted cards in your draw pile. Jump cut at 3. Okay, so we must have got this from the White Knight fight in general. And then this thing, the threshold is increased by 5 whenever we play White. Okay, not bad. I guess that's the benefit for beating the White Knight. And then crystallize, and we're still going. Sweeping Beam kills him. Now I want to see what we get if we actually, like, pray to them. It has to be another good bound, like, boon, right? Bound. Um, I, oh, I will upgrade the conduit now. Technically, defrag might have been better overall. However, uh, this does a random card. Also, the claw. Oh, I guess the, the thing changed when we eat the thingy, Jake. All right, let's do this correctly. Storm, drink, echo form, echo form, uh, echo form, defrag, mountain smile, core surge, crystallizer. Oh, I should have red shoes too. Fine. Glacier, strike. That's it. 40 damage coming to our face. Ow. Okay. Okay. Crystallizer first. Played it twice. Uh, and gave us another orb slot. Zap here. RNG. And we just leave it at that. We 101 damage. What? Hmm. I guess it assumed I was more powerful than that. Okay. Well, we beat the the super god fairy, but the claw did get us with a hundred one damage strike. There might have been a gimmick to it. I didn't see it if it was, but that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.